Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Supreme Court. Um, but before we get into it, if you wouldn't mind like, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, that would be great. So, the Supreme Court, in a move that surprised no one, the Democrats introduced a bill to expand, expand um, the Supreme Court from 9 to 13 justices. I like that, expand. It sounds a lot better than packing. Um, so, Joe Biden announced the formation of a commission last week. I thought that was... He didn't announce that like weeks ago. I don't think it was last week. But anyway, uh, Washington congressional Democrats will introduce legislation Thursday to expand the Supreme Court from 9 to 13 justices to make it a more inclusive environment. That's probably what they're going to say. Uh, my view on the Supreme Court is that they, they, are, they should be very conservative. Um, it's not their job to legislate because effectively right now we have three legislative branches and one of them, the actual legislative branch, is pretty much useless at this point. Have the executive branch with all their regulatory authority and executive orders that no one has decided to check them on unless um, public opinion was bad and then you have the Supreme Court saying, oh, actually, what you did was correct. We just want you to do it this way. Instead, and effectively changing laws, so for example with gay marriage, um, I think they made the correct decision. The government does not have the right to define what a marriage is. Um, however, they made the wrong decision in effectively using the power of the federal government to redefine marriage. That does not make any sense at all, at least to me. And then you have the same thing with Title VII. They expanded that law despite the fact that that's not their job, that's Congress's job. If they want to pass a law, then they can. Anyway, the move intensifies a high-stakes ideological fight over the future of the court after President Donald Trump and Republicans appointed three conservative justices in four years, which is not abnormal. Um, usually they, they all are around the same age and they all start dying off at the same time or retire at the same time. Um, and you can think, you can think, um, your lovely friends who refuse to retire and then prefer to just die in court and they could have retired at any point in time, like RGB. Ruth Gader Ginsburg, she could have left when she found out she had cancer, like in 2009, and she would have been replaced, but she thought Hillary Clinton would win and wanted to be replaced by her. Anyway, that's all speculation, but uh, the Democratic bill is led by Senator Ed Markey of Massachusetts and Jerry Nadler. I don't think it's going to pass. That's going to be heavily reliant on the guy from West Virginia, Mnuchin. If he says no, it's not passing. Um, the Supreme Court can be expanded by an act of Congress, but the legislation is highly unlikely to become law in the near future given the Democrats' slim majority which includes scores of lawmakers who are not on board with the idea of Joe. President Joe Biden has said he is not a fan of packing the court, but that is a lie. Um, he, he has said that he is both for and against it many times, and he's like, oh, we're going to have a commission to see what we can do with it. And obviously, if you make a commission, you're, tr you're trying to change it in the most politically correct way. But it represents an under current of progressive fury at Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell for denying a vote in 2016, which was in his right to do. Um, that has happened before. It, it wasn't out of precedent. It was heavily precedented and passing them with, if like your party is not in charge of electing a Supreme Court justice, like good luck to you. You, you can scream racist all you want, but that's not the case. You would do the exact same thing. You, you would just say, oh, I'm fighting racism. 
But are you, though? I don't think so. The bill marks a new era. Uh, this is this is a quote from a former aide. Um, and the co-founder of Demand Justice. Have you ever heard of Demand Justice? It's a money laundering scheme. They don't do anything. They, they just raise money and they give tax breaks by via donation broken and in need of reform it's not broken in fact the supreme court is the only is the least broken of the three branches at the moment i highly contribute that to clarence thomas um keeping it down our task now is to build a grassroots movement that puts pressure on every democrat in congress why most Democrats aren't really that big of a fan of that. Um, so Mitch McConnell, um, he, I think he's grown a little weak in his older age. Um, but he gave a warning that nothing about the structure or operation of the judicial branch that requires study. Um, it does not require study. Um, the The Supreme Court is pretty straightforward. Um, they have a lot more power than they ought to have because you've l allowed them to. But, yeah. It's um, not, not a good look. Not a good look. Um, and if you think that the Republicans aren't going to use this, then you are heavily mistaken. You are heavily mistaken. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you liked it. Um, I know I liked making them. Like, I like making all the videos for this. You know, I, I know I haven't been posting recently, but there are a lot of things that I just don't feel the need to, like, talk about. So, for example, the police shootings. There's nothing I can add or contribute to those because I, I tend to avoid them at all costs because they're they're hot topics. And, and while I do talk about hot topics, um, that's the one that I'm. Yeah, you know, it, it depends. I a lot of people who watch my channel do not live in the inner city, but inner city cops just <laughs> they aren't the best. Um, and I I it's largely contributed to the high crime rates of the areas as is and it is also contributed to poor policy that um has good intentions but like the wrong um they weren't well thought out so like the whole kneeling on someone's neck um that they were taught how to do that however i don't think they should be able to but yeah anyway that's the video. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.